No, I hear you, man. So, so let me you, ask you. Oh, go ahead. Good, man. You moved from uh, being a corner to a safety. How was uh, that transition for you? Uh, the, you know, right now the transition is good, but when I first started, it was a transition I did not want to make. Because, you know, even with Virginia Tech, you know, you had uh, Brandon Flowers, Macho Harris, uh, and, man, the list could just keep going. And those are just a couple <laughs> all Americans. Yeah, that's just a couple All-Americans. I got to play behind Javon Hosley. And, um, and, you know, so I'm like, man, I'm going to come here, be a corner, be the next All-American, and I'm going to the league. Like, that's my mindset. Like, that's just, like, the type of mindset yeah. I come at for the year. And then they go, well, we want you to move at safety because – you know, there's an open spot. Uh, you want to give it your chance, and uh, but you just got to, you know, be more vocal out there and be more of the QB or the defense and stuff like that. In my head, I'm like, man, this is not fair. Like, I, I had a whole plan of how I was going to come here, dominate, and leave. And, uh, and but right now, fuck, what I'm doing is dominating, and so I guess my plan isn't off yet. So, but the, you know, it's it's real, it's real. I I like it, you know, because being right. like QB, of the, yeah, being the QB of the defense, you know, making sure everybody's, uh, you know, on the same page, and then we shut down the offense, and that's a three and out, and then you know, and we we back on the uh, sideline just getting coached up again. Like that feels good, and you know, that success feels good, and I'm just happy to be a part of that. So I'm not I'm not too bad, too mad about that anymore. I still get to cover the tackling is it has mm-hmm. increased for me. Um, tremendously. Um, it's just more communication, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Now, I, I wanted to ask you, uh, what do you think of uh, Virginia Tech, your football team? What do you think of their chances this upcoming season? Uh, man, our chances are very, you know, very high. Um, I, defense, I know defensively, I can speak defensively. Um, we have a lot of guys coming back. Uh, we only lost um, one of our linebackers. Uh, Billy mm-hmm. Taylor, but we have someone who has experience coming in by Tyreek Edwards, and um, he played his, I would say, his sophomore year. Uh, it was kind of out his junior year due to the injury. Now he's come back his senior year. Mm-hmm. And, you know, um, he had a great spring. So, like, you know, everybody during spring ball, it seemed like everybody was communicating well and just, uh, you know, being being comfortable with each other and moving off each other really, really well. And um, so I feel like Defensively, we're gonna come. We're gonna come out. And we're gonna smack everybody in the mouth and do what we gotta do. <laughs> and then off, off, offensively, I feel I feel the same way. But you know, it's always a rebuilding process, especially when you lose players like Corey Fuller and Marcus Davis. Mm-hmm. You lose, um, you know, your right tackle and your left tackle. Like there's always rebuilding yeah. when it comes to offense. So you know, and then you have Logan Thomas as a leader. You know, he's doubted a lot, but. You know, as a team and as personally, I have faith in him. So I feel like he's going to lead us on to beating Alabama and then beating every other, everybody else on that team. And our defense, we have a bunch of leaders out there. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make sure that everybody's on the same page so we can, like I said, smack everybody in the mouth and, you know, make a statement. 